Hello everyone and happy, happy Tuesday. I thought I'd put the camera on. Welcome, welcome to my, to my mess. It's a big one. I started a uh, new journal for Medieval Mirage and I'm predominantly working in, um, oh, an odyssey. That's not right. Uh, Medieval Odyssey Volume 2 is predominantly what the papers are, but I did get into some of the other pages. So let me show you what I have so far. Um, this is what I'm calling the cover page, and um, there's a pocket there, so I wanted to put in a journal card, which is what this is. This may change. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, then here I used some laces and there's a tag there with a pocket. This is not a journal share. This is just showing you so far what I've got. A um, couple little pieces of paper. And a couple more tags here and a snippet. Book page. There is, is this, what is this? What is this? Okay, well, there's a pocket. Here's a tag. What is, what did I do here? Oh, okay, this is a tag that opens up and gives you journal space. That's what that is. And I probably will put something here then okay that's plain i don't know this is a great journal page so i don't know that i'm going to do anything at all to this might add some lace or some trim or something we'll see uh this is wrapping paper that um, somebody gifted me and i just fell in love with this and thought oh it's just really pretty another tag um pattern paper. I like this book page, so I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. I think it's German, and I hate, I hate to cover it up. I just uh, like it. Pattern paper, book page. This is a pocket right here, so we need to make a tag for this. That I know, and this is from a different uh, Medieval Mirage kit. This opens up. I think this is where, yep, this is where I am. So we've got a little pocket here and we have a tuck here. So I need to make a tag for this tuck. And I think, oh, I also have a glycine bag that I did that will be going in there. So I think did I have? Yes, I am trying to recycle some of this. So this, we're going to collage. And so let's do that. What are we going to collage? I've got some pages here. I um, would like to use this. This is from a completely different kit from Medieval Mirage. Let me see. We've got some blues and basically some browns. Hope everybody's doing well. I did put some scotch tape over this on both sides because I don't think I am going to use that. But I think I might want this right there. Ooh, and maybe some blue do that. I don't like that, but will I like this? Yeah, I think I do. I think we're going to do this. So let's put this piece down first. Glue stick. It is hot. It's over 100 now. I think it was like 107 yesterday or something like that. So yeah, we're in it now. I have friends from San Antonio that I think are coming for a couple days this weekend. And I want to I want to welcome all the new subscribers. We've got quite a few.
So if you see a newbie, a new girlfriend in the comments, please be sure to say hello. And let's see what else. What else? What else? Somebody asked me for my the casserole recipe that I was making last week. Was it last week? I think it was last weekend where I made three of them. One for each of my uh, children and then one for us. It's just so good. I mean, it's kind of like what I love about it is it, it tastes just like Thanksgiving. And if you had cranberry sauce on the side, it's just like having, so if you're during, if you're, if it's during the year and you just want that flavor, this is the best casserole for that. So I did print it off. I think it was Erica. Um, I did print it off in the comment for her, but I can tell you just in case you're interested. So run and get paper and pencil. And I will, just as I'm doing this, tell you what the recipe is. Let's see, well, I wanna bend this up. Maybe, maybe I'll keep that for now. Let's see. So what you're gonna need is a package of seasoned stuffing mix. 16 ounces and that's usually a bag so 16 ounces of a seasoned stuffing mix then you're going to need a one can of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom soup and the price of soup oh it's just like under three dollars for a can i can remember when it was 79 cents I don't know what happened to soup, but it, it makes this, you can't say this is an inexpensive meal anymore because if it's got soup in it, not so much, guys. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, so um, you need a stick of butter and you need two and a half cups of chicken stock. So you can use unsalted butter if you want. You can use unsalted or organic chicken stock, whatever your preference is. Then you're gonna take your stuffing mix and you're gonna put it in a big bowl. You're gonna take your stick of butter and you're gonna melt it. Then you're gonna take your two cans of cream soups and you're gonna put those in a separate bowl along with your two and a half cups of chicken stock. And you're gonna mix the soups and the stock together. Then you're gonna take your melted butter, you're going to pour it over your stuffing mix along with two cups of the soup mixture and you're going to, I get in there with my hands and I mix it all up and you're gonna put that in a casserole. And I usually use, what is it, like a 13 by nine, whatever, it's a big, big casserole dish. And then I take my hands and I pat it all down. Um, then you're going to take the recipe, I'm pretty sure calls for six cooked chicken breasts. What I do, and then you're going to shred those chicken breasts or cut them into pieces, bite-sized pieces. What I normally do is I take, I get a chicken from Costco and I shred that chicken all up. And you're going to put that all over the top of your stuffing mix. And then you're going to pour the rest of the soup mixture over that. Then you're going to cover it and then you're going to bake it at 350 for about 45 minutes and oh it's so good. It's just like having Thanksgiving. It really really is. It's delicious. So that is that recipe. Easy easy and so good and it is so good the next day. I know there are many people that do not like leftovers, but 
there's something about that seasoned um, stuffing. It just tastes so much better the next day. So that is the recipe for that. And then I've got a chicken and broccoli recipe that is absolutely delicious. And it's a casserole as well. So when I make that, I will give you that recipe if you'd like it. So I'd appreciate a thumbs up, guys. Yep, I'm asking for a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Helps my channel. Let's grow this channel. It's growing, but it's slow. And about the live, I know <laughs> you're so excited. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm trying to think of, it's scary. I have no problem being in here talking to everybody. I have no problem doing like a YouTube short. I just have no problem with that, but there's something. There's just something about going live that for whatever reason is kind of freaking me out. So I'm going to do it. I will. I'm going to do it. I just, I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'll do it, but we shall see. I don't like that. So we are getting rid of this. Ended up not wanting that. And don't I just bend that over? No, I don't. No. It's got glue all over it and it's sticky. Icky sticky. So out of those three chickens, what I ended up doing, because I did I didn't use all three chickens, because it doesn't take that casserole is not gonna take an entire chicken. It's just a matter of how much chicken you want. You need to you need to go in and make that yours. Make that recipe. Oh, isn't that so cute? Yes, ma'am, I think I will. Um forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so what I took all the bones and boiled them all down with celery and carrots and onions and and um then strained all that, got all the fat out of it, and now I'm making soup. So, I used it all. Okay, that is a cute tag. Now, what do we want on the top? And we're not done with the back. I've got, and you can see that, and I don't want to cut that down. So, let's see. What do I have? do I want? Ooh, Leslie, if you're watching, look at girlfriend. There is the number seven. So I believe, Leslie, that we will. We most certainly will, just for you. I don't know if you're a medieval mirage person. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Go check Jarf out. She is from Australia. The nicest person ever. And um, go check her shop out. Everybody should go check Jarf out. I know most of you know who I'm talking about because I, this is a design team project for Jarf. This also, this piece that I'm putting down right here, I believe also this is Jarf's. This is, I could be wrong, but this was a, this was a, um, a scrap. So I'm not positive, but I think, this is Jarf's, and I think it was like this, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't know right off the top of my head what kit of Jarf's this is. Um, there might be a document kit. And that might be where that comes from. So, I like that. I've got a little bit right here, but you know what? I think it's okay. This is just really cute. Could I 
this I've got this scrap and I'm pretty sure this is Jarf's as well I really did not want to collage the whole thing although this is pretty I have a hard time figuring out what's upside down with the Roman writing that fits right there not quite, but that's pretty, isn't it? I, I guess you could still write over that. Um, this is not quite as much as I like that. Okay, what else do we have? Is I could do that. Maybe let's try this and see what we get. And I don't think because I can kind of feel where that is, and so I don't think I'm going to mess with it by putting any kind of hole in there. Maybe we'll just put a tag. So I'm going to do that. I'm hoping everybody's all right. This is Monday when I'm doing this video. Tomorrow I am going with my daughter and the, my three grandsons. We're going to go to lunch and um, we are also then going to go shopping. And we're, we're going boy shopping, so I think that they'll enjoy that. The girls are at, at a church camp this week. So I will take them to lunch one day next week. And um, we'll go shopping. Just do something fun. So we went over to their home for Father's Day and had dinner. That was really, really good. And I was talking to my husband. I want to get a Blackstone. Um, if you're not familiar with a Blackstone, it's like a barbecue, but it's a grill, a flat top grill. And I just think it would be really, really fun to have that. Is that going to bother me? Hmm. I think I might have something we can put there. So I have no idea what time it was when I started the video. So I'm going to kind of, I see that it's about 10 after 2 my time right now. So we'll see. We'll go by that. I probably have been on, I want to say, 10 minutes. Maybe. Maybe. I might have this upside down. I did ask Jarf once if the writing is authentic because I thought, this is not authentic. Well, guess what, guys? Yes, it is. It is authentic. Yes, it is. So when you see a piece of Jarf's paper with writing on it like that, it's authentic. It's not made up. Nope. Not made up at all. Or a piece like that. Or a piece like that. All this writing. Yes. Yes, ma'am. It's authentic. I was very impressed. So, okay. Do I like that? I was thinking I had gotten into... Ooh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. This, and I kind of thought, look how cool that is. And then, I mean, it really could be the front or the back, couldn't it? There's a dark green. That's kind of chipped away. I kind of like it chipped away like that. It makes it look like it's been in the mail. 
Um, I wish I could remember who sent these to me. One of my sweet girlfriends sent this. Oh, maybe I don't want to do that because we've got one right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, if we don't do that, you know what? I think it was Miss Beverly sent me. Let's see if I can find what it is I'm thinking about. Okay, hold on. I'm just kind of, I think it would be in there. Let's have a look and see. Pretty sure. And I think we want that as well. So I really like that. I think that's really pretty. But let's see, Miss Beverly, is there anything in here? Green, green, green. Look at that. Maybe we're going to use this just because I have used, I used that one. So let's check that out. Because that's pretty cool looking. Let's go through here and see if I see any other kind of green. I know I used a lot of them in my Christmas stuff. There's another green, but I think it's the wrong color. Way too bright. Should put that in Christmas. It would be perfect. I just love all this stuff. Let's see our colors. I don't think I want yellow. Oh, that's pretty though, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to use both because to me that's just really kind of a waste. That's pretty, but you know what? We're going to do that. Alrighty, so we've got that. And then I think because I'm not going to put a... Uh, hole in the top of this to make it a tag. Let's let's get this down and then let's see. I'll tell you what, this is the coolest die cut. I don't know, I think I've got the right side. Off center, I want it off center just a little bit. And then I need to see about whale tail. How about a whale tail? And I am going to use this side with the owl. I just think it's a little bit more interesting. But if you have a felt tip pen, you could easily journal on this. Journal this way. I, um, nine times out of ten, I would keep that plain with, um, coffee or tea dyed paper. I usually, on the back side of tags, do not do that because I don't want to take away from any writing space. But, um, I think that's cool enough. Okay, let's see. I'm kind of looking for a brown. That might work. I think that might work. Um, let's see. Don't want yellow. Ooh, that would work. That kind of brings out, I think we're going to use this because it brings out the color of the owl. Yeah, I'm going to use that. Okay. Then, we're going to glue that down. If I can get my chair out of the way, that would be really good. So I'm trying to think of, I spoke to um, Lisa on the phone, and she's doing really well. She had a daughter, I'm pretty sure it was a daughter, that went to Normandy over in France. And um, was going to get home, I think, last Friday. So hopefully she got home and she is safe. And just has wonderful, wonderful stories to tell. We should get the flags and the sand um, mailed off to Lisa this week. My husband's going to create a box because the flags are about... I think about two feet long. 
and obviously, you know, they're flags. So you have a stick and then you've got the flag and you roll the flag up. So it's very long and narrow. So Lisa, it will be coming. And I thank you for your patience. And um, thank you to everybody that responded to my um, Angel Dream Crafts. Uh, Kim, I'm looking at this and I think I want to round the edges. Um, design team project yesterday with the pockets with the manila, the manila envelope, leftover manila envelope. I appreciate that. Thank you. So let me get this chomper out, and I think the quarter inch will be good enough. So, oh, not going to happen. Because I put the whale tail in, not, not going to happen. I rounded the bottom. Let's see if I can. Will this work? This may. Nope. That's what happens when you put your whale tail in. That worked. Let's see if this will work. If not, nope. Okay. So let me see if I can do this. This will go in my shop, guys, this book. And I apologize. I have had a couple people ask me um, when I'm going to get some things in my shop. And I've been doing so many giveaways and um, that sort of thing. Well, I've been gone for one thing. But yeah, I spend most of my time on my giveaways. So don't know that I'll do anything with that because we've got this. Look at how pretty that is. So you have, this is a pocket right here, so we need to do something for this pocket. And then you flip this over. Oh, that's so cute. So then this is a pocket. So what are we going to do? I really want, really, really, this is perfect. We just need to cut this down this down a little bit and because it's rounded corners on both sides we're going to cut it down this way let's see we'll go to that line and we'll do the other side and see if that will fit oh I cut way more off of there but that's okay because both corners are cut that's what we need Go in there. Yep. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. So what are we going to do with this? Okay. Well, how about... I like that color. Um, we could... We could do that. Or let's put some red in there. Let's do this. Yep, let's do that. Give us some color. So glue stick. Um, should show you what I did the other day at class. My, uh, when I took a class from Dana Wakely. I'm sure most of you know who Dana Wakely is. She is an artist. And a very talented artist. And, um, she's written several books. Funny, funny, funny lady. Let me get that over there. So, um, yes, I should. That's not going to work. 
Okay, we are going to tear this. So one thing I didn't know about Dana is she lives, I think it's either, I think it's she lives in Mesa. She doesn't live that far away. And she was talking about how she had gone up to Tim Holtz's home. He, he lives up in Prescott and was having lunch and they were painting and just having a great time together. And um, anyway, she was showing techniques in this class on um, transparency, transparencies, transparencies, I think she called it. And that's not something that I work with. And so that it was new to me, which was really, really fun. And uh, what do we want to put on this? Do we want to? So I think we are going to, let's, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so transparencies and uh, paints, because obviously she paints. That's really her, her thing. And she said she's getting more into, unless I misunderstood, she's getting into uh, more paper and maybe more journaling. But, um, yeah, because I never really worked with the transparencies. That was just fun. I think we'll make this a fold over. Um, A fold over tag so you've got more space to journal and if you if you're not familiar with what I mean you'll see in just a second it's something I, I really enjoy doing that so I'm gonna tear this off I'm gonna take this it's pretty good Pretty good, not quite there, but pretty good. And yeah, we're gonna fold this over. This is what I mean. So that you have a little bit more journal space, just like that. And if you want, you could fold this over yet again and have a little bit more like that. But I think, do I wanna do that? Maybe I will. Yep, maybe I will, because why not? I'm asking myself, why wouldn't you do that, Charlotte? Why would you not? And I can't figure out why I wouldn't, so I will. Just like that. So you open this up. We've got all that journal space. Okay, glue, come on. Okay. So, do we want to leave it like this, or do we want to do something to it? Hmm. right there on the end. Let's make sure that's not the fold. And it isn't. Now let's trim this. So we don't have that white. And let's do that. Let's put that there. I like that. You know, you don't need a whole lot of anything. You just, I mean, you really don't. Well, I could do that. 
And then I'm asking myself, why would you do that? I don't like it, so why would you do that? Well, I'm not going to do it. We don't have to worry about it because I'm not going to do it. Okay, glue stick. And... My husband's in the pool cleaning the tile. Yep, not a bad place to be, you know? Not really. So he's got a scraper, and we've got blue tile, and um, about once a year, I would say, you, you really need to do it because it gets, just gets like a hard deposit on it, white. Now, you could have it sandblasted, but, you know, this way we don't lose pool time. Cut this off. I don't want this. Let's see if I want that on the front. So it just gives you a little something to look at. Um, you can do more on the inside if you want, but see, you just have a little something there, and I think that's nice. And that's kind of cool. Hmm. All right, let's see. I don't want to cover, don't want to cover the rose. I really don't want to cover the rose. You know what? I like it. I couldn't tell you why I like it, but I like it. So let's just do it. I think the colors blend in enough that it just looks, it just, I, you know, it just, it adds something. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I think it adds something, so, and I'm wondering. Okay, we can call this done. We can revisit this, but I think it's it's pretty cute. I want to put something in here, maybe, maybe, maybe. That's cute. Now, if I do something like this, you don't have any journaling spots. So, you know what? No, we're going to leave it like this. And then, do we want something up here? Do we want a... Um, well, if I do put something up there, then we're going to have an issue. Well, ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe this wasn't... Oh, we're, we are right. We fit, so what's the problem? Well, we fit. And we have this, and I do, um, I dyed this. I can't remember what I dyed this with, but I like the fact that there's yellow. Oh, I don't know now that this is going to be good. It is tight, and I think it's tight because of this border. So will it go in here? No, maybe that will go, that needs to go someplace else. So we're back to square one, but we need a tag here. I do have some graphic 45s. Let me see, will this work? No, that won't work, but what just fell? Will this work? No. But it is the right size. Will this work in here? No. 
that I could cut this down. Um, let's see, how long have we been on? It's 2.30. I think we've got time. I think let's cut this down and play with this. I almost don't have to touch this, but I think I've got one in here. Does this fit? No. Let's make this go in here. All right, we're going to cut this down. Cut this down. We're getting there, but let's see. Let's see if this will fit. Cut it down some more. Okay. No. No. All right. Let's really cut it down. Let's cut it down to. It was three inches. Let's go to two and a half. And I'm pretty sure this is going to fit. Two and a half. Should go in there. should work. So do we want to collage or I'm bound and determined to get this in here. I think I got this from Denise at um, or Jennifer from um, Dreams Etc. Not positive but kind of like to get that in there. Do we want to collage this? Or, that really was the blues. Do we want to I could do this and really just fold it over. But if I do that, you know what we're going to do? Okay, I know what we're going to do. All right, this is what we're going to do. Let's see if this will work. We're going to make like a sampler. So we are going to, I want these flowers up here, so let's, okay, this is going to be a chunky chunky monkey, this journal, and I think then we can fold this over. Yep, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to fold this over like that. I'm going to hopefully tear this. Come back with wet glue. Okay. Oh, Charlotte, don't mess it up. Don't, don't mess it up. Let's make sure that it's glued down. We don't have any 
Okay, so we've got this. Then let's go ahead and make this one of these. What do we have? Yep. Yep. I think so. Hey, Maggie. Maggie, Maggie. And let's use a piece of... I was going to paint on this. These are my strips for painting. And now that I say that... I think maybe, what is this piece here? I see writing, just a strip. Look at the patina, oh, nope, it's ripped. That will not work. So I think maybe, let's tear this. Oh, and I was just thinking of something, and I can't, now I can't remember what it was. But let's do that. And do this. And do this. Okay, I should go under there like that. I'm wondering, do we want some lace? On this. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, we've got this. This would be good. Yeah, do we want a piece of lace or a little bit of lace on here? Or maybe, let's do a piece of, let's do this. Look at how pretty this is right there. Let's do this. Ooh, I like this. That's a really pretty. That is really, really pretty. All those colors. Look at that, guys. Okay, and then do we want... We need, I think, one more piece of something. So, I have got... Let's see, that is yellow. Well, wait a minute, where is this gonna go? Where was this going? Not there. Is it gonna go in here? No. Where was it, guys, where was I gonna? Yeah, maybe it was, okay. So yellow, yellow, so maybe. It's got yellow and red and, oh my goodness, Charlotte, just do something. Let's cut that out. Let's cut 
cook this up. Okay. And let's cut this. Just a rough, fussy cut. Just really rough. Like that. Okay. Now let's see what we look like. This is a weird video. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking this is just strange. Oh, I like that. This is just strange. What this look like? Ooh, okay, look at. All right, you have to admit, that's really pretty. So what are we going to do? Can a tiny attacher? do this or do I need a big one? Let's see. There's one. It's going to take two. Alright guys, let's look at this. Isn't that cute? Look at that. All these little scraps. I did one of these not too long ago and when I went and flipped through it, they all came out. Okay. So let's do that and this, and then I'm going to say sayonara because, okay, we need a tag there. We need a tag in here. Okay, so then we came to this, and I think maybe we do it like this. We can. What do you think? I think... You know what? I really think. I think I'm going to do this. Yes, I am. Just because, as much as I like yellow, I just like there to be some color. So let's do this. you think? When do we want to fold that up? No, we don't. Let's cut this off. I know you probably can't see it. Cut that off. And then we have that. And I think I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm just going to put this on here. Or... No, we're going to do it like that. Because look at how pretty that is. Okay, we need a... a green paper clip. Look at that. Oh, okay. That's really cute. And then we'll put something we'll attach. This won't work. Nope. Okay, so then we have we need a tag there. We need to do something here. So you'll love that. And then look at how cool. Somebody gifted me this. And I just think, thought it was cool. So I put it in the center. So I need quite a bit of ephemera still to go on this. Hey, will this work? This might work. Oh, look at that. It found a home. Okay. Then let's put... And you know what? I have that bag... curling up. So let's put that there like that. Where's the other side of that? Will this bag fit in here? It will. I thought about gluing this down, but look how pretty that is. I don't want to glue it down. So I'm thinking we're going to stuff it. 
look at this fits. This is good. We'll come back and put lace or something on here. And let's look at this and see just how. I mean, this is going to be... This is never going to close. It's going to be so chunky. Look at that. We're not even to the center yet. And look at that. And then we have this to go. All of this here. I mean, this is this is going to be a beautiful journal. So it's actually like two journals. And at first I thought maybe this coming like that's going to really bother me. But you know what? It doesn't. I think that's cool looking. And it feels nice. So, guys, yeah, but it's never going to lay flat. I think when it's done, well, maybe it will. I think by the time I get get that all loaded up, it isn't. But, okay, I am going to say goodbye for today. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. And I will catch you in the next video. If there's not a video for Wednesday... It is because I am just having fun with my grandkids and my daughter, and I will catch you then Thursday and Friday. So be well, everyone. Take care. Um, hugs and love. Bye.